Anthony here from Tactical Solutions. Today we're going to be coming to you with another video on our cook pot series. This time we're going to be testing windscreens on alcohol stoves. Here we have the white box alcohol stove and the Trangia alcohol stove. We're going to be using a Tox titanium 750 milliliter pot, heat yellow bottle fuel, and we're going to be testing two different types of windscreens. One windscreen is going to be much narrower in diameter and it's going to fit much more snugly against the pot. The other windscreen we're going to leave very loose around the pot. We're going to test both of these systems on both of these alcohol stoves. Our weights empty are going to be as follows. The white box stove, 1.1 ounces. Trangia, 4 ounces. We're going to be boiling two cups of water. We're going to measure it with our infrared thermometer. We have 1.2 ounces of fuel in our alcohol stove. We have two ounces of fuel in the Trangia. We'll go ahead and light the stove, let it prime. Here it is, start. At eight minutes flat, we have a rolling boil. Let's see how long this fuel lasts. Okay, so we had enough extra fuel for about 27 seconds of burn. So we had eight minutes and 20 seconds of burn. All right, we've got the Trangia, two ounces of fuel. Go ahead and light it up. Start. All right guys, I just weighed this Trangia after that burn and uh, we burned 1.5 ounces of fuel. Got the white box stove with the widescreen. Let's go ahead and start rocking this thing. It's lit. I'm gonna go ahead and close the windscreen. It sounds like they're going. Set the pot on now, start the timer. All right, we've got a rolling boil, 212 degrees at six minutes and 58 seconds. We're gonna take this off and we do have some fuel left over. We have a good amount and we're gonna keep letting it burn. Okay, and we have kill off at eight minutes and 56 seconds. Adding this windscreen definitely helps quite a bit. We shaved off some time off of our boil time and we've increased our burn time with the alcohol stove. Let's get this baby going. Okay. Set the pot on here. Start the clock. Okay, 11.32, we've got a rolling boil. Get the white box stove set up. It's got 1.2 ounces of fuel. Let's get it started. Ow. Okay, the burners are on. Go ahead and set the stove on the inside. Start it up. And we've got a rolling boil at four minutes and 10 seconds. We have quite a bit of fuel left. So let's keep running it. All right, burner blew out at eight minutes and 20 seconds. Be the Trangia stove with the smaller soda can windscreen. We're gonna use our pot stand. Let's get it lit and see what happens. Okay, Trangia is lit and ready to go. Let's go ahead and start the timer. Okay, we've got a rolling boil here at eight minutes and five seconds. Let's see how much fuel we can save. Now I have a revelation here. My last video I boiled six freaking cups of water and I didn't make a single cup of tea. But this time I was smart and I decided, you know, maybe instead of dumping all that water out, I'll do something with it. So we got some tea going on this one. All right guys, we've just finished the testing on all the alcohol stoves and the windscreens. So now let's go over to our graph. Yep, I made another graph. 
and let's see where all the stoves and the windscreen stand. So this is our graph here. You can see up in the right hand corner, the T is going to stand for Trangia. The W is going to stand for the white box stove, and we use three different colors. Black is our control burn, our first burn with no windscreens. Blue is our wide windscreen, and red is our narrow soda can windscreen. Above it is the white box stove, below it is the Trangia. First let's check out the Trangia. This is our first control burn. We had a boil at 11 minutes and 5 seconds and used about an ounce and a half of fuel. As you can see the line kind of goes up and down and up and down depending on if wind kind of blew the uh, flame away from the pot. Trangia with the wide windscreen is in the blue line here and you can actually see that it did worst for most of the test and we had a boil time of 11 minutes and 32 seconds so about 30 seconds worse. Now I believe that this is due to the windscreen absorbing some of the heat because it is aluminum or because there was too much oxygen demand and maybe the windscreen blocked too much of the oxygen. So let's move on to the third test. The soda can windscreen here outlined in red did much better than the other two. As you can see the temperature started out the same and it started increasing well above the other ones and our boil time was at 8 minutes and 5 seconds which is about 3 minutes better than the other two windscreens and we burned 1.2 ounces of fuel so we saved about 0.3 ounces versus our control and 0.1 ounces versus our wide windscreen. It's a lot of numbers man, you're throwing a lot of stuff at me quick bro. I'm going to leave all this information in the description. Okay for our white box control with the black line here you can see we started out with all the white boxes higher than the Trangia. Okay, So the white box stove pretty linear all the way up for our control with a boil time at 8 minutes and 27 seconds we used about an ounce of fuel. So with our second test uh, the temperature started a little lower for the white box likely due to it having to warm up the windscreen but then we were able to increase our temperature above the control all the way up to our boil time at 6 minutes and 58 seconds so we saved about a minute and a half for our boil time okay the winner clear winner here absolutely if you can look at the whole big picture is our white box stove with the narrow soda can windscreen this thing started out well above the rest in the one minute temperature range because no heat was able to escape and you can see our path is absolutely linear all the way up to our boil at four minutes and ten seconds. So this blew every other stove out of the water, every other windscreen out of the water for that matter and it was also lighter. Burns for all of these stoves was around one ounce on the white box. That didn't change with the windscreen but the Trangia did change a little bit. We did have a little bit of fuel savings when we went with the windscreens. All right, so if that wasn't exhausting enough, I may be making another video with these alcohol stoves and a canister stove with everything put in the fridge at 34 degrees Fahrenheit. We're gonna maybe test if these numbers change in that extremely cold weather. That is highly dependent on if I feel like making another video about boiling water, because frankly, I'm a little over it. This video may seem super unuseful to you, but it's useful to me because it helps me answer questions. What is gonna be the most reliable out in the backcountry? What's gonna save me the most fuel? And what's gonna boil my water the quickest? By testing variables such as temperature, I can see what will be the safest in certain conditions. If you like the video, please hit the like button below. If you haven't subscribed and you want to do so, now's a great time, but I ain't gonna force you. And if my graph totally confused you, just go ahead and go down to the description below. I'm gonna include all the stoves, the tests, the boil times, and the fuel consumption. This has been another video from Anthony here at Tactical Solutions. We'll see you next time.